So this cut guide drives me crazy, um, and I have the hardest time fitting it in the tibia. And so you can have your protocol set for using the prophecy to use this infinity Taylor resection guide, which is a whole lot smaller. And so instead of using that, you use the, the prophecy and you put your wires in and you slide this, this small one on the right over it instead of that big cut guide and it makes it a lot easier. And it does the exact same thing as that other guide without destroying the soft tissues. You have to plan it ahead of time because it's not the same size. So if you just were using the wires and they give you the wires from, the, from using the other cut block, it's not gonna fit. But if you tell them ahead of time, they build it into your little prophecy model and it works perfectly. So um, you just tell them my, on my thing, on my Taylor alignment guide, it's based off using the spacer technique resection guide and that's something that the, the rep would tell them and it just makes it a lot easier. So that is a Gelpie, but I didn't put that there. I'm not sure how that got there. Um, so yeah, post-production, <laughs> just so you know not to use it. And so, um, you can see if you slide this big block on it, I don't know if I cut that out yet. Yeah, this is me trying to put that big block on just to show, but you can't get it down because it doesn't fit in anymore. So you can't use it any if you wanted to, but putting the smaller block on, and you can see how big that is relative to the wound right there. And so this other block is a whole lot smaller fits much easier and then you just do your normal cuts through there and it's just I do a flat top cut anyway um, and then you just pin that in place